dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. So today in this video, I'll teach you guys how to create badges and challenges inside the employee module of Odoo 17. So it's really important to appreciate your employees for their actions. Now this actions or this uh, appreciation may act as an, you know, a motivation to those guys to work more and to put on more effort. So here in Odoo, we have the option to set challenges as well as badges. Now, based on the challenges they, uh, you know, take, um, they perform or based on the challenges they accept, you will be setting rewards and goals for it. And here we have the option called badges, which is uh, basically a reward which you give to the employees. So based on their performance, you can grant badges to each of these employees and you can even see the badges which each employee owns inside the employee module. So I'm not wasting your time, let's move on to the module and see how to grant badges, how to create challenges as well as badges. So now let me show you how to configure badges and challenges inside the employee module. For that, let's open the employee module. So here's the employees. Open there and go to the configuration menu. So click on configuration. If you scroll down, you will reach to a menu called challenges where you have sub-menus such as badges, challenges and goals history. So first let's go to badges. Now this badges place uh, shows you all the pre-configured badges, okay? Now here you have a badge called problem solver. If you want to grant this badge to anyone, now you can see zero granted, zero this month, okay? So I'm going to grant this badge to someone. So clicking on badge, I mean, sorry, grant badge. And this will ask who would you like to reward. So you can choose the person to whom you are going to assign this badge. So I'll simply choose Joel and click on Grant Badge. So now you can see the count have changed to one granted, one this month and that person's profile has come over here. Similarly, you can create a new badge by clicking on the new button and here you can give the name of the badge. So I'm giving the name as Problem Solver itself. Okay, now you can give a badge description. So I'm giving the badge description as Congrats. And then under the granting section, you have this allowance to grant. So you can choose who is allowed to manually grant these badges. Okay. So you can either choose everyone, a selected list of users, people having some badges or no one assigned through challenges. So currently I'm choosing everyone. Now here you have one thing which is called monthly sending limit. So you can set a limit for sending that is to check a send, I mean check or set a monthly limit per person of sending this badge. I mean, you can set a limit and the limitation number can be given here. So if I'm giving five means per month only this much granting should be done for a particular badge. That is this badge. Okay. So currently I'm not giving any limits and all. Then you have your monthly sending total. Okay. Then you have this rewards for challenges. Now if, if you want to add any kind of rewards, you can add it. So I've added, you have these much challenges over here. So I'm putting a challenge called complete a course, select and one goal, three participants. So that I'm just adding a challenge for this. Okay. Once that challenge is completed, this badge will be uh, granted as a reward. Okay. So that is this. Now this shows the details of the challenges which we've added. There's a goal and three participants. And this badge level can be chosen. So there are three levels which is bronze silver and gold you can choose any of these levels so currently it's bronze let it be there now you have the statistics so once you create it the statistics count will change so that's created i'm saving it and here you have the option which is grant this badge now if you want to grant this badge you can directly grant it from here choose a person and then this branch i mean badge will be granted okay and once you complete this challenge, what happens is that this will be assigned automatically. Okay, so now let's, uh, I mean, if you just go to this employee section and I'm choosing this person called Mark Demo. Okay, if you choose him, you can see the, you know, received badges section. So there you can see all the badges which are received by this person. Okay, so if you want to grant a new badge, you can simply click on grant a badge. And from here, you can choose the badge. So I'm choosing problem solver and reward employee. So that newly added badge will also be there here. So you can see all the badges which are gained by this person through the employees. Now let's go back to the configuration and there in the configuration you have this challenges. 
okay so here you can create new challenges now this is a running challenge i'm going to create a new one so challenges are basically something which you put as a goal or something and you can achieve it within a given time now here i'm putting as monthly sales objectives itself monthly sales objectives okay now you can assign this challenge to someone okay so assign this challenge to either you can you know set a rule that is a i mean following rules can be set based on a formula way you can choose the groups or anything so in groups is if it's an internal user then active is set not set so based on this you can choose okay you can set a rule and based on that this will be assigned to certain people now corresponding to this rule there are four records which satisfies our rules so we have these much people so they will be assigned to this challenge and then you have this periodicity where this can be non recurring daily weekly monthly or yearly so i'm putting it as non recurring and then you have the display mode which is individual goal or leaderboard so it leaderboard in the sense it will be showing group ranking and individual goals means it will be depicted as individual then you have the responsible person the start date and the end date so tomorrow i am setting as the start date and end date let it be some other day okay so you can set the duration for the challenge and the goals which should be achieved during this challenge can be given here so you can choose the goal whatever it is so i am simply putting popular question the higher the better the targets can be chosen here so i'm putting the target okay so whatever goal should be achieved that goal definition should be provided over here and then you have the reward here okay for every succeeding user what should be rewarded so a reward can be a badge i'm putting it as brilliant that is the badge which we are going to you know uh, award or grant for every succeeding user and for the first user you can add something else so i'm putting good job and for the second user also you can add a badge and for third user similarly for each users you can set badges okay and for every succeeding user also you can set badges that is the rewards now reward best if not succeeded okay then rewards are soon as every goal is reached so both is checked here okay so this is basically how you create a new one and if you start the challenge okay if you currently while you are creating it it will be in draft stage so if you just change it before that i'm changing the group okay so i'll put administration and if you just start the challenge from here this will be in progress okay and once it's done what happens is that that will move on to done state now you have this related goals over here okay and if you go back you can see the participants so the mission admin is the person who satisfies the rule and that person is the participant of the challenge so that's how you basically create a challenge now if you go to the configuration you have one more thing which is goals history where you can see the goal history of each people okay so these are different goals and how many achieved it and how much is there to reach and all will be detailedly given inside the goals history so that's how you basically grant badges as well as create challenges so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching see you in the next video